Yo guys, how's it going? Mad Gaz here, and this is a I haven't done a video like this. I've been live streaming for so long, so I haven't done a video where I talk over an actual gameplay. But yes, in the background, I am driving the new Pegasus, or Assistus, trying to say and that so about five times, and summon the devil and all that bullshit. Yeah, anyway, so, but, right, we've had a week to play with the DLC, well, not quite a week yet, it'll be a week on Wednesday. The new DLC, ill-gotten gains, and wow, <laughs> didn't Rockstar just totally not leave fuck us? My god, if you didn't have any money in your GTA 5 online account, then you're screwed, you're busy, you... What was the point in having this DLC? If you had no money, you couldn't play it. It was, it was just like a redundant thing for people who had no money. And I was one of those people. So I had a resort to buying a shark card. And that cost me around about 12 English pounds. And I was only able to buy this fucking car. I bought a jacket, I think I bought. And that was about it. So well done, Rockstar. You totally screwed us there. And I'm led to believe by... Lots of the YouTubers like saying this and doing calculations and that. I was going to do a full calculations video of the total of every single item for the DLC, but I thought, fuck it, no. It averages around 20 to 25 million GTA dollars would be needed to buy every single thing in this DLC. Now, that equates to, if you're going to buy shark cards, at least 180 English pounds. That is absolutely insane. That is almost four times the amount of what the game costs. And they expect us to be able to fork that out for a DLC that was free. It's absolutely... Uh, 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 see, I can't even fucking speak on that rage with this. It, it may not sound like I'm rage, but... Jesus God, Rockstar has fucked us on this one royally and truly. I mean, who's going to pay four times the amount for items in a DLC when the game itself only cost around 40 quid? It, it just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. I've got an idea for Rockstar. How about they charge us for the next DLC? Say, like how uh, Call of Duty, they charge us for DLCs. And we get all the content, all the stuff for free and all that. And you haven't got to buy extras in the game. How about they just stick a little price tag on it? Say $5.99. I'll oh, heck, I would even pay $9.99 for a DLC. If it meant I got everything free, all the cars were free and stuff. Yeah, it just seems that Rockstar just screwed us on this one. Thinking that we're going to spend all our money from heists. I mean, who still had their money left from heists? Because we waited so long for a DLC. It was just ridiculous. Really, 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 Rockstar. You absolutely fucked us. But yes... On that note, Rockstar screwed us over, but what do you guys expect is going to happen in Ill-Gotten Gains Part 2? Because obviously they can't expect us to spend more money that we have just spent on this Ill-Gotten Gains Part 1. We have nothing left. Our bank accounts are zero. They have got to add something into this game we can get our money back. And I'm hoping they'll either add the Lottery Tickets DLC or the Casino. Open the casino, let us earn some of our hard money back, and stop fucking ruining in the goddamn game by making things cost an absolute fortune. I mean, 10 million for a gold plane. Who gives a fuck how, what color the plane is when you're flying in the sky? No one can fucking see you. So what's the point? But yes, what do you think is going to be in Ill-Gotten Gains Part 2? I seriously hope that they're going to add in some sort of gambling, or the casino, or something like that. Maybe add some new mansions, or hell... Why not add in some new missions? We didn't get any new, like, missions in this DLC. No new adversary modes. Nothing like that. I would love some new adversary modes because those game modes are absolutely beastie. Now, Rockstar, you're probably not going to hear my cries or anything like that. I don't mind. I really don't. I'm just doing this because I was raged these last few days with this DLC. Pretty much that I barely even played Grand Theft Auto V because of this. And it's saying, it's kind of disheartened my, like, outlook on Rockstar. Like, clearly... I thought they weren't in for the money. It proves that they are just in this for the money and that. I mean, yeah, the car, the Pegasus Horus, the Sosa Horus, is a good car, but is it really worth it? But yes, guys, let's just end on that note. What do you think is going to be in DLC number two? And I shall see you guys later. If you like this, stick a like in it, comment down below what you think. Bye.